Um, you know, I just want to say that, um, you know, it's disappointing the, the results of this game, but, um, you know, I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty proud of my group. Uh, I thought these guys came out with a good focus. Um, you know, we're fighting a lot of adversity, you know, some injuries, some, you know, some difficult situations, you know, obviously an ejection in the middle of the game uh, when we had a good momentum and then, you know, dealing with that situation. But, you know, that's that's the rules and we got to, you know, abide by those, obviously. But, um, you know, uh, obviously some breakdowns and some lapses at times. But, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of my group and, you know, my three seniors really stepped up and I challenged them. I really challenged them after the Wright State game to be the guys. You know, this is your team, this is your group, this is your season. And I really challenged these three guys to uh, step up, and they did exactly what I asked them to do. And um, obviously the results aren't there, but I'm glad to see the, the, um, the guys responding to their coach. And, um, you know, we'll take this momentum and move forward. Hopefully we get the results we're looking for. What do you credit to that momentum change start of the second half? Uh, well, I mean, just, you know, that Detroit team is good, you know, and, and those guys came out, uh, you know, knowing that uh, they played, you know, not as well as I'm sure they, they feel they can play. And uh, they came out trying to get the momentum turned, and we knew there was going to be a run. We knew that Detroit were going were to respond, um, and they lost one of their key players as well. So, you know, you, you know there's going to be momentum swings. You know there's going to be runs by both teams. You just got to weather the storm. We got down by 10 in the middle of the half, and we responded as well. And that's an encouraging thing because we've been on the other side where we've relinquished leads. And, um, you know, but our, for our guys to fight back, uh, to get back in there within a possession or two um, was, uh, was very encouraging. And I thought our guys uh, did a good job of just, just trying to stay um, within the game plan, although we were dealing with some, um, some obvious zippers. Uh, Coach, uh, Birdie's injection was definitely a turning point in the game. How did that affect your strategy going forward for the rest of it? Well, it just it just limited my rotation. You know, mm -hmm. uh, guys, uh, the way we play, you know, we just plug people into spots. But what it did was it really limited our rotation. I wasn't able to get guys breathers like I wanted to. And, you know, it kind of limited, um, you know, those things. Uh, but at the same time, you know, Brad's our glue guy. You know, Brad is a guy that I can put on any position. He's a guy that uh, gets me extra possessions by getting on the glass. Um, obviously, you know, he's got a presence out there when he's there. He's taking charges. He's getting his hand on loose balls. You know, and, and not having him in this game was, was pretty costly. Coach, two-part thing about Brad. First of all, what did you see with him and Eli? And the second thing was what did the officials tell you? I saw nothing. But what they said they saw was an elbow and a retaliation. And that in the rules, if there's an elbow, there is a discretion of the referees to make an ejection. And obviously, a retaliation draws an ejection. So the guys followed the rules. They explained it to me pretty simply, and obviously we uh, we honor those rules. Um, you know the way they're uh, they're applied there. So you know there's nothing else to do but play after that. You know you just gotta you know bounce back. I thought our guys did a good job of responding and just you know just playing through that, and we were able to uh, finish the half on a decent. Note. For the players, you guys have had so many close losses and like two point games, now three point game, just. How frustrating is that, and what, what's the difference? What's that extra step you need to make to not get in those situations? I mean, you know, the situation's been tough. Um, you know, close games, you always want to finish out, finish out on top. But, I mean, honestly, like Coach said, he was proud of us today. I mean, you know, we're still learning. And you take, you take in the film, you, you look at it. And, I mean, I feel like we're right there. Um, you know, Casey had a huge game today. Just came out. And, and just just handle this business, and he gave us that fire. And then uh, Robo in the second half went to work, man. We, we were just right there. We believed that we can finish this game out with a W, but it didn't go our way. But that's the fight that we need to have in every game. Is there anything you guys can pinpoint from one half to another? It seems like often you guys have played so well in the first half, only to kind of really push it in the second. I thought we played well both halves, Scott. Be yeah. honest with you. I think we just had some, some situations where there was crucial possessions. Uh, it was a great block by uh, Ray on, on Robo's shot, you know. And, and, hey, anybody would have been in a position where Robo did the right thing. He took it to the other side of the basket. It's just a great play, you know. Um, some obvious some, some turnovers in other situations or some missed shots here and there. You just never know. But I thought we played great in both halves. It's just stretches where their defense is a little better than our offense and vice versa, and that's how it goes. It's a swing. But I thought our guys put together two solid hands.
Oh, you came out with a bigger line today. You know, Paul playing uh, Goddard, so to speak. But is that something that you wanted to counter with Detroit, or is that something you just wanted to try to maybe touch the post a little bit more? Well, yeah, I want to give us some presence. Um, you know, Xavion wasn't feeling very well, to be honest, and I wasn't sure if he was going to be ready to go. I wanted to the medicine and, the, you know, every whatever he took to start kicking in and uh, allow that to, uh, you know, try to take place there. So I want to take that pressure off of Z to at least – you know, let that anxiety go away and, and give him a, uh, a chance to go. But I like the look and the rotation with that first group, and, you know, we may see it again. You never know. Casey, what was the difference today for you? Um, basically, Coach challenged me to step up. Um, you know, he's, he said after a few games that uh, he wished he could have me back. So, um, you know, I just haven't really been myself lately. Challenged me to step up. My teammates challenged me to step up, and uh, I just didn't want to let them down today. Everybody was uh, counting on. We were all counting on each other for sure. We we really wanted this win bad, and I think we showed that. Uh, but I I just wanted to help my team win. That's that's the long and short of it. Were you just more aggressive, or anything you were doing different? Just uh... um, yeah, more aggressive, more mobile, smarter, uh, trying to stay out of foul trouble, which. Absolutely, yeah. that's his name, Kyle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like KC. I like Kyle. <laughs> um, I, I think the biggest thing for him is, you know, he, you know, he, he's got the ability. He's got experience. He's played at this level. You know, he just needs to be locked in all the time. And, you know, when he does that, he, he does what he does here. There's no. I'm not shocked that he showed up and performed today. I'm just disappointed that it hasn't showed up more often. But he's going to be fine. There's a lot of basketball to be played. Um, you know, Kyle is in the mix. You know, he's getting opportunities. And like seniors, you know, I told these guys, the, the hourglass is, you know, turned and the sand is, is going through. You've got maybe 13 more games left that's promised to you, and you've got to make the most of those. How do you want to leave this program? And, you know, these guys are fighting their butts off, and now the rest of the guys have got to follow with them. But I hold them accountable first and foremost. They're the older guys. They're the leaders. This is their team. And I give them a lot of leeway and a lot of say in what we do on a daily basis. So with that responsibility comes, you know, the uh, opportunity to go out there and perform and lead this group. And uh, that's expected. That's how it goes. And then you, hand, you, you pass that ownership on to the next group and then so on and so forth. And that's how you know you got a winning program. To the, to the players, is it, if it's, is it frustrating to play them basically with a statistical stalemate and, you know, end up on the wrong side again? I mean, you guys did everything you think you need to do to beat Detroit. You rebounded, you shot. What? How does that feel? And what do you guys think moving forward against other Horizon League? Well, it's uh, very frustrating. Uh, we've had a lot of games like this this year. Um, no, but like, but coach said in the locker room, we can't go backwards from this. Uh, we got to build on what we did today. Even though we lost, we, we still we still showed some good signs. You know, we showed some hard effort. Uh, Kyle stepped up. You know, it was big for us. So. We just need to build off this and uh, look at the film and get better. From what the coach says all the time, it's 50-50 balls are what matter. And, uh, some of the 50-50 balls didn't go our way today. That's something that's fixable, and that's absolutely something we can take care of in practice. And, um, we just have to come out here ready for the next one. Just you talked about being challenged by a coach and teammates. It was this something that happened in practice, just verbally, they say to you, or was it just how practice was going? Um, combination of the two, um, definitely. You know, coach said uh, basically he just he's seen the potential in me and he's seen my ability before uh, earlier in the season during the Pittsburgh game and um, he just said he wanted that Kyle back. So uh, I, I, you know, I just wanted to you know make my coaches happy, make my teammates happy. Which, you know, we just we wanted to win and. the only one who called you Kyle? No, a lot of people oh. call me Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, guys? Coach, with uh, with Kyle's foul situation and Brad's ejection, going into the second half, you had to make a couple of adjustments to the lineup. Noticed you put uh, Xavion and D out uh, at the same time. 
Uh, was that in, in anticipation of uh, the press style, the, the more trapping defense that Detroit went to? <clears throat> yes, that's a good question. We were prepared to have that lineup out there because obviously, you know, more ball handlers the better. Um, and I thought they did a good job, our guys, of handling their pressure. And obviously, they were trying to deny Robo the ball. He's our initial ball handler. He's our guy that gets us into our offense. And they did a good job of just putting Donovan in his chest and not allowing him to play. Now, the game doesn't stop when that happens. We got to have other guys that can step up and get us into our flow. Obviously, Xavier is very capable, and he did a good job of stepping in, getting us into our offense. And he made some good plays. He made some plays I wasn't very happy about as well. But for the most part, I think you know he did a decent job of you know fighting through his ailment and, and getting out there and uh, giving us some good minutes. He took a good charge, uh, knocked out a big three to help change the momentum around a little bit. Uh, got some great deflections in our one-three-one, you know, and uh, got us some opportunities to get down the floor. So, you know, he did some good things to contribute, and uh, it's expected, like I said before. I mean, our guys, the effort should never be coached. We don't coach effort in this program. We got to make sure that our guys are being caught, I mean, being taught on technique and fundamentals and making sure that those are the things that we can always hang our head on. But effort should never be a compromise. It needs to be there all the time, no questions asked. And I've never had that problem. Now, concentration, um, you know, fundamentally, you know, not doing what we need to do, uh, breaking down and, and getting our defense consistent, those are things that, you know, we've lapsed here and there and we can fix. And that's why I'm getting paid, to work on those things. Thanks, everybody.